Hey everyone, John Mark Comer here from Bridgetown Church in Portland, Oregon with the verse for the day. I was assigned a text to pray and read over you from Psalm 59 and I am amenable to that because I love the Psalms. I start every single morning, pretty much 365 days a year, when I first wake up, before I touch my phone or anything, with a cup of coffee and by reading or really praying a psalm. I've been doing this practice since I was a little boy. Let me read over you Psalm 59, verse 16. But I will sing of your strength. In the morning, I will sing of your love. For you are my fortress, my refuge in times of trouble. Man, we are in a time of trouble in my city, in our nation, and really all over the world. We're living through a very tumultuous time, and I can't think of a more necessary thing than to wake up in the morning and, quote, sing of your love, to sit in the love of God every single day. A question that we have to ask ourselves as disciples of Jesus is, how do I become more loving? How do I become a more loving man or woman? Because Jesus, in his teaching, put love as the telos of the spiritual journey. He said the greatest commandment in all of scripture is to love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And the second is to love your neighbor as yourself. So how do we become people who are pervaded by love? And there's not an easy formula solution to that, but the short answer is we let God love us into people of love. So a practice that I do every single morning after I read my psalm is I just sit there in the quiet and I close my eyes and I direct kind of the inner gaze of my heart, my thinking, my feeling, even my will and desire, and I just look, so to speak, at the Trinitarian community of love we call God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I look at them looking at me in love and I just receive as a free gift the love of God through Jesus as mediated by the Holy Spirit into my body. May you do the same this week and this day as you live in the love and the strength of God.